All right, so we have uh, Elizio Zaleski de Santos uh, versus ben Benoit Saint Denis. I think I'm pronouncing both those uh, well, probably very incorrectly, but yeah. On the feet, I think uh, Zaleski hits him with some huge shots. Honestly, I don't think uh, Zen Den uh, Saint Denis. Uh, Striking defense is very good. I think he's very reckless on the feet. He's just yeah, just very reckless in general. Hands low basically all times. Hands low, closing distance. Recklessly closes the distance. Uh, doesn't have a great understanding of range. I think Zaleski is actually a pretty good striker. He comes from that Capoeira background, and I think he's one of the probably the only one of the only uh, effective practitioners of Capoeira in the UFC. Uh, you know, you could say uh, Tiago Santos and all that kind of stuff, but. I feel like Tiago Santos more relies on his huge power instead of his capoeira movement and his capoeira technique. So I feel like Zaleski is probably the best example of capoeira being used effectively in the UFC. And I think he just uh, hits him with some huge shots on the feet. So yeah, it gets interesting uh, in the grappling because uh, Saint Denis does look like his grappling's okay. You know, he looks to pretty much grapple immediately. He doesn't look to stand up too much. Uh, it doesn't look to strike too much, I should say. Uh, he looks to drive a double onto the fence. Um, wrestling looks okay. Do he goes for like some silly judo throws sometimes because I think he comes from a judo background. But he goes for like gi throws. Um, and they're just very low percentage. And they often do leave him off his back. And he doesn't look great off his back. On top, he does seem okay. Decent pressure. Arm triangle seems to be his go to move. Zaleski does have some decent takedown defense, strong hips to reverse takedowns. Uh, he looks to, yeah, reverse takedowns or even attack with submissions when opponents do try and take him down. Uh, but yeah, his takedown defense is okay. He has some warring tendencies uh, BGJ wise. He will give his back to get up and, you know, does other things like that. Pass to victory for these two. For Zaleski, I think uh, counter him when he throws kicks. He has his hands low when he's throwing kicks. Uh, he's very open there. He does throw a lot of kicks, just naked, not set up or anything. You'll be able to counter him pretty easily. And uh, if you're Zaleski, I don't think you should get involved in a grappling match. I think you could potentially win a grappling match, but I don't think that's where you have the biggest advantage. Uh, for Saint Denis, uh, the grappling heavy attack, obviously. Uh, that's, I think, what he goes to usually, so I don't have to tell him twice. How I see the fight going. Uh, as I said before, I think Zaleski hits him with some huge shots on the feet, and I think a devastating KO is probably on the cards if it does stay on the feet. Uh, Saint Denis is just that reckless, and he also has that uh, the the confidence or like the false confidence, like the arrogance of a uh, undefeated fighter who you know probably hasn't faced too much adversity in their career. Um, so I feel like a, a KO, like a big KO, is is definitely on the cards. Uh, but Denis, yeah, Saint Denis, sorry. He's definitely more of a grappler. He looks pretty good, you know, uh, on top. Uh, pretty skilled, I guess. Uh, he does have a few flaws. You know, you have to expect that from a fighter that young in his career. Most of his shit, or most of his fights, are behind a paywall that I was just unwilling to pay. But from what I've seen, he's decent on top. Uh, he might come and be a, you know, totally beast top player. But, you know, historically, France isn't exactly a hotbed for beast top players. Uh, you know, I'm just being honest, really. Like, I mean, MMA wasn't even legal there until, like, last year, I think. Uh, also, you don't, you never really see them doing too good in, you know, wrestling tournaments or Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu tournaments. You know, there's not too many BJJ grapplers coming out of France, but, you know, it is what it is. I think Brave is a solid organization, but he just hasn't faced anybody UFC level, and Zaleski is... He's, he's a pretty tough opponent to, to uh, debut against. Uh, so yeah, tough, tough fight for his debut for sure. So it's hard to tell how good Denis real or Saint Denis really is. Uh, so I'll probably just be staying away until I get some questions answered about Denis or Saint Denis. Sorry, I keep calling him that. Uh, but yeah, let's have a look at the betting lines anyway. All right, if you guys could like the video and all that stuff. All right, so I got Zaleski by KO. Uh, I don't like either of those lines. I think the money line is basically correct. If I was to bet anything, it'd probably be Saint Denis at like three dollars twenty if he gets to that uh just because i do feel like you know his path to victory is kind of live here uh so yeah i'm uh, not really too interested in playing this fight honestly